Adam here from Label of Love. You may have seen me and Petra around the school and today we want to bring you a Christmas message. For the last 18 months you'll be aware that we've had to wear these masks. We've had to wear them everywhere. In public places, on the bus, at work and you will have experienced what it's like to wear these masks in school. And I don't know about you, but when I wear a mask, I just feel restricted. I feel like I can't breathe and I feel really enclosed, which is not a, a nice feeling at all. I wonder how you feel wearing these masks all the time. You see, it got us thinking that actually we all wear masks, not just in a physical sense, but also we wear invisible masks. Let me explain what I mean. Using social media is a really good way of projecting a side of ourselves that we just want people to see. We don't have to show our real self. We can just project something that is confident and um, it, it excited and perfect. But actually we hide who we really are underneath our invisible masks. I wonder what the, are the masks that you wear? We can all wear masks, like feeling or being popular or confident or um, funny. But they're often just a, a, a pretense or a projection of, of who we really are. We want to show people the very best of us because at the heart of it, we want to be accepted by others. If we're confident and popular and we've got lots of friends, then that's a good thing because they're going to accept us. But actually, what we don't reveal or what we don't show is who we are underneath the mask and who we really are. What might our hearts be truly full of? Is it that, that confidence? Is it being funny? Is it being untouchable? Or do some of you actually experience some other emotions in there? How about being hurt? Have you been hurt recently? Has somebody said something to you which really got to you and you're still carrying it with you? Or maybe you've had bigger expectations of school and maybe other things in your life that you'd hoped for and things are not working out in the way you wanted to. And now you're disappointed. COVID has brought lots of sadness to us. Maybe some people in your family have been ill. Maybe somebody has passed away. Or maybe there have other things, been other things that you have been sad about. Maybe you have just started in the school. You're new. Lots of, lots of pupils around. And maybe you feel a bit unsure. And one that probably most of you can relate to. Anxiety, being anxious, anxious in front of tests, anxious of the workload, the homework, the expectations. And all these things are inside of our heart. They're not bad and they're not wrong, but they are there. And often we want to hide them instead of being honest about it. We often hide these parts of ourselves because people make us feel like they're shameful or pathetic or make us feel like we should be embarrassed by them. But actually that isn't the truth. I feel that when I wear an invisible mask, like being overconfident or um, sure of myself, I find it exhausting, just like wearing a real mask, because I have to pretend to be this person who I'm not really. And actually when I don't share who I really am, I feel hollow inside. I don't feel like myself. I don't feel like I can be who I really am because I have to make people accept me. Well, you might think, what has this got to do with Christmas? God came down. He made himself a baby. He became a person. 
He unmasked himself. He took his power off to become like us, fragile, weak, dependent. So what has that got to do with us unmasking ourselves? Well, God made himself vulnerable and he's saying to us, I want you to be vulnerable too. Because when we are vulnerable, we are real. And when we are real, we can connect. And when we connect, we have real relationships. Jesus was lying in that manger in a wrapped in cloth. There were no perfect nappies with perfect wet wipes, with perfect bottles, so that his life was one perfect, wonderful thing. He pooped into his cloth that had to be washed again and again. His mother had to pick him up when he was crying. It was all just the same it is today. When there's a baby, there are a lot of demands on the parents. And Jesus once was a baby. And God made himself dependable on other human beings to show that he wanted that kind of close connection. So when we stop wearing a mask, we open ourselves up to have real relationships with other people. They can see us for who we are, and if they take their masks off, we can see who they are. And we find they're beautiful, beautiful people. Without a mask, we become beautiful people. God coming to earth as a baby, showing us his vulnerability, is saying that vulnerability and being honest and open isn't a weakness. Actually, it's a strength. When you share who you really are with the people that you love and trust and can rely on, actually it can make you stronger. And our hope that this Christmas, that you will have an opportunity to do that. Why not take off this mask and share who you are with the people around you? We want to wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. <laughs>